Hello, and welcome to my second episode of Sniper Sundays. This is basically a video series where I go through and pick out a selected sniper rifle of choice, semi-automatic or bolt action, and I just seem to use it, get some montage light clips, and more or less it seems to work out in my favor. As you guys will take note, the gameplay is actually going to be on the PC side this time. If any of you guys are new to my channel, you are probably unfamiliar with the fact that I am a Colonel 100 on Xbox 360. That's just kind of how it functions, so mainly I guess that's the main gist of that. So anyway, I gotta say I'm liking the PC side of it. Sniping definitely became a little bit easier than I imagined, but we will uh, continue from that standpoint. So the weapon in the gameplay or the clips is going to be the SV-98. The SV-98 shoots at 48 rounds per minute. The transformation of the bullet f from your barrel into the opposition, or at least how much you need to lead and stuff of that configuration, is about 520 meters a second. Definitely take note of that because you will also have other weapons throughout the series that are higher, lower, somewhere in between, and more or less they're just balancement issues that I think that DICE did a very good job with. As you guys will also take note that this is something that I don't think a lot of people understand, but the bullets in Battlefield 3 do disappear at a selected range. They do not fly all the way across the map as some people would like to believe. I myself always thought that they did. But unfortunately at 2600 meters they do just magically disappear into the thin air. That's kind of what happens. Granted, you know, I have definitely had my moments where I've been up there in the couple of thousands and it's a lot of fun. So, anyway, to give you guys more information regarding the suppression effect of the sniper rifles, it's going to be of about a 35%. So, if you shoot at your opposition, it's going to provide 35% suppression effect out of the 100%, obviously, for the total maximum percentage. Which is pretty consistent for sniper rifles. When you look at a lot of them, that's kind of what you'll see. Granted, there are a few that differ anywhere between 20 to 10 to, you know, something of the configuration. A lot of the bolt actions do have 35% because it's more or less a cosmetic thing that when you look at a sniper rifle, you're mainly looking at the reload times and a little bit more of the stance. Not too much changes. I mean, obviously, the magazine obviously can change depending on your rifle and the selected one you have chosen, but more or less, 11 is pretty consistent within a majority of them. So now we move into damage. Damage is a little bit more interesting. I don't think a lot of people understand, but it's something to definitely jump into. As we all, all take a note, Battlefield 3 definitely brought with it different weapons, I guess you could say. They all have different damages or to a consistent basis. A lot of them have consistency, but to a certain degree, it just depends on the maximum potential of a one-shot, one-kill. The SV-98 does do 80 damage up till 20 meters, and then it drops off significantly down to 50 damage at 80 meters. Granted, I gave you guys that configuration for 2,600 meters. You do have a long ways to go before your mullet's magically going to disappear. And I imagine a lot of you guys are probably semi-close to the objective if you're using the recon kit. If you are an aggressive reconner, I presume that this will never be an issue for you. I'm maximizing your potential for an 80 damage is probably pretty consistent within your basis. So now that we move into the actual ammunition or the magazine the information, that's where it gets a little bit different to a certain degree. Obviously, reload times for each specific weapon can differ depending on the class or more or less the weapon at choice. So we jump right into it, and it's going to take 4.8 seconds to reload a completely empty magazine. If you have nothing left in your magazine of the total of 11 bullets in your magazine that shoots a 7.62 by 54 millimeter R, which, you know, good round by itself, obviously it's high damage and it's going to do its consistent basis, especially if Battlefield 3 has enlisted it at an 80 damage, obviously it's giving you guys a notification that it's a pretty sufficient bullet to be uh, striking your opposition. If you have anywhere between 1 to obviously 11 or 10 bullets, I do apologize, it's going to take about 2.4 seconds to reload that. In between the reload animation and the point where you cannot actually shoot your weapon, it's going to take about 0.75 seconds for the animation to complete. That's basically like cocking or reloading the next round into the chamber. Something of a consistent basis. I'm sure a lot of you snipers have done this, but it's not really a big deal because it's less than a second. So a lot of you guys probably haven't taken significant notice of it. So, that is mainly the reload times for that. Others of information regarding any other weapon, guys. Pretty much a lot of the weapons in Battlefield 3 run at this consistent basis. A lot of them just differ in the department of how long it takes to reload a full or empty magazine or something of the consistency. A lot of it is cosmetic. As a lot of you guys have taken note, you know, there will, you guys will hear these figures quite often. It's not something to be unheard of. The M40 definitely has almost the exact same identical stats. They just differ by a very small margin depending on the full or, you know, empty magazine. So, anyway guys, that has been the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave feedback through the slides that you guys saw. I'd love to know if you guys like those. If not, I will scrap them. But more or less, I'll see you guys in the next installment. This is NMO, and I'll be signing off, guys. Peace.